a lot of Canadians who tend to be more center or right of center tend to dismiss the protests as being something they don't have to worry about because it is something that only the progressives or the indigenous or the Muslims or the, the protesters have to worry about. And what people don't realize is that there is legal consensus that this bill is very poorly constructed and it's very dangerously constructed. So four former prime ministers, Paul Martin, Jean Chrétien, John Turner, and conservative prime minister Joe Clark have all signed um, a letter saying that this is a dangerous bill. former Supreme Court justices, including a former Chief Justice of the Supreme Court. So these include um, Justice Louise Arbour, who is very well respected in the, in the international legal community. We also have um, Justice Bastarache, Michelle Bastarache, and Justice Claire Leroux Dubay, who have all opposed this. There were um, 100 legal scholars and law professors from McGill University, from Osgoode Hall, from the University of Toronto, from the University of British Columbia, so the most respected Canadian law schools. All of these law professors have signed this letter, this public letter, saying that this bill needs to be opposed. Even Rex Murphy, who is, who is a very conservative journalist, has said that Canadians need to act against this. So right now in Parliament, there are parliamentary committees that are reviewing the bill. These are a farce. They have not permitted Danielle Terrien, the privacy watchdog of CSIS, to testify in front of them. They permitted the four former pr prime ministers to testify. They have forbidden many members of the uh, Canadian Civil Liberties Association from testifying. And in the question periods that they had yesterday, the only question that was posed by the, a minister in the first session of the committee was to the Canadian Civil Liberties Association and he asked them, why are you so opposed to getting terrorists off the street? Which is a complete, it is, it is a reminiscent of Vic Taves's, why are you against arresting child pornographers? Like it is the nature of the language that they're putting out that is troubling, it stifles dissent and it, according to legal scholars who have assessed this bill, who are experts in this, it is extremely dangerous. And so I'm appealing to the centrist, to the right, right of center and to the close to left of center people who might not come out here today to realize that there are people from across the political spectrum who are incredibly opposed to this and that it is a concern for everyone and I have a I have a quote from Benjamin Franklin actually that says any society that is willing to give up its essential liberties for the semblance of security deserves neither and will lose both opposed Bill C.